let's talk about the the training yourself to be uncomfortable or to become more comfortable with discomfort. Does anything come to mind just in terms of managing your psychology? For my own psychology, the way that I try to manage this stuff is I wake up in the morning and you get like whatever emails you have of like stuff that's going right. on in the world, right? So it's, it's world events, it's team events, whatever trends we're, we're seeing across our, our products. And often in there, there's a fair amount of bad news and like new things that I need to absorb. One of the things that I've found that just, just for kind of managing my, my, myself is that if I try to just go straight into the day, it's like almost every morning when I wake up and like read, read, read through my, my emails and get the news, it's like, it's almost like getting punched with sort of like a ton of new context. And it's like, okay, I need to like internalize this. So I found that basically doing something physical and, and something that's like meditative to take my mind off of it for like an hour so then I can reset and go do work is really important. So that's why, you know, things like foiling or surfing have been really important to me because, you know, when you're out there in the water, it's like pretty hard to focus on anything else, right? It's, I mean, it's like you, when you're on the board, you, you, you're focused on making sure you stay on the board and don't mess something up. You know, especially if you're, if you're kind of towing or something like that, there's not a whole lot of downtime. Yeah. I've found that for my own performance is significantly better when I have something like that, that's like meditative and and physical and, and allows me to kind of output some energy and then I can come back in. And it's almost like I'll have subconsciously settled all of the things that, that have sort of, the, all, all the news that have happened in the world. Now it's like, okay, let's go deal with it. Yeah. Now, obviously, if, if there's something that's really an emergency, I'm not going to you know, go do a sport or something. I'll, I'll go deal with it. And, and obviously, part of life is you, you don't always get to control your schedule. And, and that's kind of how that goes. But you know, when I compare kind of how I do on the days when I kind of get to have some time to soak that in or, or to, to kind of have an outlet versus just like jumping right in. I, I find I'm often like stewing in bad news or something. And then I just, I, I like, I'm not, I'm not as productive. So I think that's, that's sort of my own personal way that I try to, to manage situations like this. But obviously a key part of this is like having an awesome team and, and it's not, it's not, you know, primarily about me at this point, you know, it's a big company and, we have awesome people who are who are running all these different groups. So I get that the, what I'm what I'm saying, it, kind of how I've worked out the system for myself, isn't necessarily something that would work for a lot of other people. I think that the the meditative palate cleanser makes sense, though, uh, especially if you're talking about things like foiling, where the consequence of a lapse of attention on what you're doing has immediate oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> penalties. Yeah. So it's regulating in a sense. Maybe I'm not strong-willed enough or like, or, or calm enough to just do straight up meditation. <laughs> it's like, I actually need to put myself in a situation where it's difficult to not focus on that thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I think part of this too, I, mean, I do think managing energy is an, is an interesting thing. I mean, some of the, the, the folks who I, who I work with at the company, they say this lovingly, but I think that they sometimes refer to my attention as the eye of Sauron. And that basically... <laughs> You have this unending amount of energy to go work on on something, and if you and if you like point that at any given team, you will just burn them. But at the same time, right, it's managing that so that way I can like manage my own energy and diffuse it w well enough so that way it's like okay, I I have the thing that I'm focused on that that day, and I it's it's really important to me that I can as as often as possible manage my schedule so I can actually focus on the things that I'm naturally thinking about. I just think the engagement that you get of having like a an immediate feedback loop around thinking about something and then going to getting to go talk to the people who are working on this is so much better than like going and scheduling a meeting that you'll have three weeks later when, I mean, maybe the topic will still be important, but it's not like what's going on at that time. Yeah. Getting that balance right is an important thing for sustainability for the organization as well.